Greetings everyone, Watcher Watcher here, and in today's video I will be explaining what you need to do in order to start modding LEGO games. This is an updated tutorial based on my current existing tutorial and new information we have learned over the past two years. For this tutorial I will be using LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga as an example. It's a tutorial that will work for any LEGO game currently released however, so you don't have to worry it doesn't work with the game you are trying to mod. The first thing we'll do is go to the game's directory. In my case I already have the folder open right here. And here we'll have the game files currently as they are. We're going to change them a bit in order to allow for us to mod the game or use mods made by other people. If you're using LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga from Steam, your default directory will be in C, Program Files 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, LEGO Star Wars Saga. That's where you will find the folder by default. If you have installed your game in a different location, you'll have to use the location you selected during your installation process. As you can see, there are multiple .dat files. There are these ones listed as episode 1 through 6, and the one that's referred to as game.dat. Now, depending on your game, they might be called differently. Some games will have them only listed as game with a number after it, so game 0, game 1, and game 2, etc. Uh, in some games, they might be named after the chapters. For example, Indiana Jones, they are listed as game.dat and for the episodes they are listed as the movie names. You have to look out for that, which it's different for each game. In order to start extracting, we are going to need a program called QuickBMS and a script called ttgames.bms. Both the program and the script will be listed in the description below, but in my case I have them already downloaded right here on my desktop in a nice folder called the tutorial. And as you can see we got the script and we got the QuickBMS zip folder that we downloaded. Uh, we're going to extract the QuickBMS archive. For me, I'm using WinRAR, so I'm just going to right click on it and select the option Extract to QuickBMS. Just like that, it's extracted. I recommend you extract your QuickBMS in a location you are going to find it again. It's going to be easy to access for you because you might use this program multiple times instead of just using it once and then deleting it. But for our use case, because this is a tutorial, I will extract my QuickBMS in the tutorial folder that I made on my desktop. In the QuickBMS folder, you will find two programs, one called QuickBMS, one called QuickBMS for gigabyte files. You will use the normal QuickBMS version for most games. Newer games will have dead files that are above 4 gigabytes. In that case, you will of course use the 4 gigabyte files version, which will allow you to extract files that are above 4 gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and open QuickBMS.exe by double clicking on it. It will open this menu. You will see a command prompt of the program and it will open another dialog box asking you the question to select a .bms script. We will use our ttgames.bms script which you will have downloaded. For my case however it will be on the desktop in the tutorial folder right here. So we're going to click on it then hit open. It will open another dialog box which will be step 2 of the extraction process. It is asking what input archives or files we want to use. In our case it will be the .dat files listed in our games folder. My game is located on the E drive. And then just because it's very easy to do, I'm just going to copy my existing uh, link to my folders. And then paste it into the bar above. Hit enter. And we are in our games folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select all our .dat files, so it will be all the episode dats and all the game .dat's. In this case, it's only one. It is important that you extract all .dat files and not just a select few, because you will need to have the full game extracted in order to use mods and make them. So what we're going to do is hold down the control button and select all the .dat files, just like that. And we're going to hit open. Now the final step will be to select a folder in which the game will be extracted to. We're going to make a temporary folder in our main directory of the game. We click a new folder. We're naming it to uh, extracted files. We're going to open that folder. I'm going to hit save. As you can see, the program will start extracting our game files. This will take a bit. I will get back to you when it's done. QuickBMS is done with extracting our game files, so we're going to hit enter to close the program and we're going to check our folder called extracted files and as you can see game files are extracted in the folder so we got our levels for example or our character folder having 
all the characters in the game. So what we're going to do now is go folder back to our main game folder. Got to create another new folder and I'm going to name it that. Got it pretty easy to remember that we're going to store our .dat files in there. The reason for that is, is because the game will always prioritize the .dat files above your extracted files. So if we leave the .dat's in the location that they are now, your mods will not be applied. So what we're going to do is select all our files again. So we're going to hold the control button and we're going to select our .dat files again. I'm going to put them in our .dat folder as a backup in case your modded files get corrupted and you need to re-extract or you just want to use the default vanilla game again you can always just put the dead files back in the main folder now you can technically just delete the dead files and then re-download the game if needed but i do not recommend it since you have to re-download it all again and even though the game is only 4 gigs, not everyone has great internet and you don't want to spend hours downloading a game again if you got a backup right here. But if you have very limited storage, of course, it's always an option. For the next step, we're going back into our extracted files folder, hold down the control button and clicking A to select all the files and folders in the extracted files folder. And we're going to move them to the main game folder. You will get a message that a whole lot of files have the same name. You will click replace. And now you have your game extracted. That's everything that you need to do in order to extract your game. If you're using a newer game like The Force Awakens or DC Super Villains, there are a few things you have to watch out for. I have an example here. Lego Batman 3 has a disk file. This is a file that you will also need to move into your dad folder. If you leave this file in the main directory of the game, it won't work. So you have to just move this file in the same folder as your dad file. Some Lego games like The Force Awakens and up so any game that came after The Force Awakens will need a patch.exe in order to work. You can download these patch.exe's in our mod tools channel on the Discord server, which will be a link for in the description. This is all you need to know in order to run your games extracted. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the description down below. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.